we yeah, live? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're live, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we're live. Kevin almost booted the laptop over here. Nah, it does oh kill gosh. me. Welcome to another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. We are here in a great mood. Great mood. <laughs> I'm not in the greatest mood, but I'm going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it. But listen, man, recently we did a podcast last week. Dre came up trying to be funny and hilarious because we had a little incident at a at a bar with a white dude. And Dre just jokingly said, hey, you know, the check all white dudes are always going to come in your fix and say they clue with black dudes. Let me check your phone and see if I can find the word nigger in there. We decided to make a clip of that shit. Shit went viral. Shit went left. For sure. Shit went left and, and then viral. <laughs> it went viral and then it went fucking completely left. Yeah. It, it started off mild shit at first. Like, hey, who will let you go through their phone? Mm-hmm. Y'all on some girl shit. Too. Pretty much fuck you niggers. Yeah. And I, exactly like that. These white dudes. I'll say nigger if I want. One white, black, white dude said. I can say I say the word nigger. I, you black people piss me off. I'll call you a nigger in a heartbeat, but that don't mean I hate black people. That's exactly what he said. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's exactly what he said. <laughs> exactly word for word with this motherfucker. So, said. Let's let's make it clear as before you keep going with the story. So as we go with this podcast, we do not have any problem with any other type of people. We do not consider. Well, I ain't gonna say we don't consider ourselves. Uh, you know, because melan- little melanated little is, yeah. you know. But the the point being is that these people. That's the first time I was accused. <laughs> we all racist. at this point of being racist <laughs> myself. Y'all accuse me all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you are. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not though. We're Kev not. Love, Kev no, not I just say racist shit. shit. But he he can just he knows how to dig a hole. Make it and, and fill it with bullshit. And fill it with bullshit. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I the shit went. It's bad because it's bad. we did. We hit the fucking. We hit an algorithm that we didn't think we was gonna hit, and yeah. I, and we literally, all jokes aside, like hit a. I'm gonna say it. They don't have to. We hit a tiki torch Trump algorithm. Yes. Ac- like, accurately, the yes, <laughs> accurately <laughs> described. Yes, we hit the many of these people had Trump as their uh, avatar. Yeah, these people. So I, I, I'll I'll talk a little bit about it before we go a little bit deeper. So most of the people who responded that I saw, I didn't check everybody. Most people who responded were uh, white males. I'm going to say when I checked, there was at least 98.5% white males, white males. I've never had that, that percentage. Even when we had 10 comments, 98.5% white males, cool with white males. These particular ones though, were not the deal. They were not the ones that I'm usually cool with. These were aggressively racist Instagram ghosts. Okay, ghost. Yeah. What's an Instagram ghost? I know y'all know what's an Instagram ghost. Just somebody just who makes pages just to be controversial, and you can't find nothing out about them. They just the make a fake page. Hide behind the screen. Yeah, yeah. Hide and, and, the screen. Keyboard tough guys. And, most, and and some of the shit was probably some. You know, I heard they got hackers that just that like to pump this kind of pump post up like this and they just make a fucking bots page where the bots just go ape shit and just keep getting people excited. Mm-hmm. That's if you're wondering what we talk about, what we're talking about, you can go to our opinionated Instagram page. You can literally go Turn to up. you can literally go to um one of our last is go. it our last comment or second to last comment? Last one or the other. Our last comment and just 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 filter through the thousand comments that's up there. You just go through the thought. It got to a point where Dre had to turn them off for a second. We had to tell him, nah, nah, let that turn shit ride. Back one. Yeah, let, let that ride. shit ride. Let, let, him, let them talk. How? Because it's Instagram. We don't give a fuck about what y'all say. We already know what's going on in these streets. We done lived the life already. We still living it. We obviously still living it because we decided to have a conversation about stuff that still happens to us to this day. So we decided to co- conversate on a recent event that 
we just look at look at each other like, yo, how could a person come to this point of view mm-hmm. by just looking at a person? That shit is weird to me. You know what yeah. I mean? But it happens and it happened to us, specifically Kev and myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And 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 uh it's it, it if you don't think it makes a person uncomfortable when you talk like that, let me let you in a little secret. It does. Mm-hmm. You really don't know how that situation is gonna turn out. You know what I mean? Because if a person feels as though you're you're doing this out of mane- malevolence, then especially a guy like this guy, his he got a short temper. Everybody think Kev cool, but as cool. soon as you walk on that dark side, uh, and then it Kev give he he gets violent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't it don't happen often, but oh, yeah. you get him in that mode, there's no turning him back. And yeah. we don't try to stop him. I got a bad back. Kev turns <laughs> into the Superman when he gets upset. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he's a so six four you, black guy. He's a six four, <laughs> four black, black guy, guy who who obviously shouldn't have the name Kevin. Your name should have been like Rashid or Lamont or something. According to that white guy, that's what he said. He said, my name should not be Kevin. So, and that's what the thing started from. Yeah. It started from that. And it was like, it was cool. But the comments went crazy. Like, yo, I don't, people, oh, y'all use that word. Why can't we? My whole thing is, listen, you want to say, you want to say, nigger? Go to the most ghettoest, hoodest block you can find. Find 20 black dudes. Go up and greet them. Oh, what's up, nigger? With a dat. I'm see not if, making this a clip, bro. No. See no, if you no. make it. See if you make it to the tenth black guy. By the second, by the first black guy, he's going. They going. You dap him up and say, nigger. They're going to look at you crazy. Time you get to dap the second guy up to say the word, nigger. You are probably going to get your head taken off your shoulders. You will mm-hmm. not make it to all ten black guys dapping them up and saying, nigger. Can but I, you more than welcome to try it. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be just black. I'm just I just mean, go just I, go a place go that you feel uncomfortable with saying stuff that you would normally say to a friend that you feel comfortable with, and uh, see if that situation still arises. See if you still get the same love and 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 comments that you would get. I'm just from saying. that friend of yours. Just what, say it. It's so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, like I said. I hate that we got to say this because I've never had felt or need to, but we got, we all got white relatives, white friends. Bro, My wife raised, is white. There, there you go. I was raised around a bunch of people. So I'm going to throw that out there, but let's keep it real. There are ones who are covertly and overtly racist. Covertly and overtly racist. You can look up the definitions if you need to. Um, so I have no problem with either. And I'm going to tell you why. If you covertly racist, you ain't going to let it out anyway, unless you're mm-hmm. by yourself or you're with people that you feel comfortable with. If you overtly racist, that's fine, too. I'm not going to check you on that. But what Kevin is referring to is the fact that you overtly racist motherfucker that will comment some shit that nobody will ever see you on. And you say that, oh, I say nigger all the time. Cool. Cool. Go to these places by yourself because we all know when y'all get in the group, racist. When we all, when y'all get in the group, all of a sudden y'all the toughest motherfuckers in the world. Let's go get that nigger. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. That's what y'all used to do when y'all hung motherfuckers. You will grab a shotgun. You will go to your neighbor. There's a nigger up there. We're going to string them up and it'd be about 30, 40 of y'all to string one dude up. Because you get tough when you have your people with you. I'm saying go to these neighborhoods by yourself because you're the toughest motherfucker in the world. No gun and come with these. We'll shoot you a fair one. We'll shoot you a fair one. And beat the dog shit out you. But you won't. But you won't do it. Where you go. You won't do it because you're really not as tough as you say you are. I've been holding this shit in. I don't care about the comments. I just be wanting to respond to y'all motherfuckers who say stupid shit. You really bitches. And if you was next to us in a line, if you was next to us anywhere, you wouldn't say shit, but you'll whisper to your little buddy, damn, that's fucking nigger. This nigger smells good. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You would do all that type of shit because you really cowards. You know what I'm saying? Oh, go ahead. I I went off on the rails. Go ahead. Uh, It's cool. What did that comment say? 
<laughs> Do you think political war was more heated during the police shootings, early Trump, or during the Black Lives Matter LGBTQ push, late Trump? I'll take all for 10, Alex. <laughs> all of them. I don't think it's ever stopped. I think that I think that where people see the opportunity to come out and and show their true colors, they take it, whether it's a movement, whether it was Trump going into office. Well, it doesn't matter. The Rodney King beatings, all of that shit. You know, what I mean, when they get the opportunity to use and abuse the power, they, that's that's what's going to happen, no matter who you are. And it doesn't it doesn't matter the race, whether you're black, white, Asian, doesn't matter if you have the opportunity to use power and and be the person that you always are without anyone really coming at you for it, because that's what's going on right now. You're going to do it. And that's what the comments really, really showed. As soon as one person decided to say something, then it was like, oh, they said it. If we all say it, how they can't stop us all. We're on Instagram. You know, it's like, bro. It's, in all reality, none of that, none of the shit that y'all say hurts us. We could care less. I don't even really look at the comments. It's these guys who like. I was laughing like at the shit. At them I was reading them, but it was funny. That's funny about because yeah, yeah, I find it. Funny. I find it. I find it to be well, later. funny. <laughs> yeah, I, but but me, I don't care. Y- y'all are all on Instagram. Y'all on social media. I don't even do social media like that. So your so, opinion never really mattered. I mean, this is opinionated. We say how we feel. People can say how they feel. And I'm not going to really think twice about it. But you have to realize that other people going to look at you and think think some type of way, especially if they know who you are. Imagine mm-hmm. you hold, you've been holding all this shit in all your life. And now you get a chance to say it. You say it. that person next to you looking at you like, oh, shit, the mm-hmm. white person, the white person who next to you is probably like, oh, shit, my nigga. I didn't know you was like that. <laughs> Tom, Tom, I can't fuck with you, my nigga. <laughs> Tom, can you Tom, can you come? Can, can you come down to the office, Tom? We need to talk to you. Yeah, people's yeah. jobs is that is that like you for saying how we all feel. That's what they're yeah. <laughs> saying how we all feel. Jesus, Tom. You know, my wife's you know, black. You set them. You set them <laughs> oh my gosh. Set the nigger straight, Tom. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> no. But listen, but listen, man. Listen, <laughs> it's just funny. Like pushing the conversation along. They was like, oh, it's funny how y'all try to. Don't want nobody to use the word, but y'all use the word like we took the word. Yes. We took the word away from y'all to like like y'all called this that y'all was calling that shit. We got here to just to fucking degrade us. And we tried to take that shit and somewhat flip it and make it ours and take it away from and take the power away from you so you can't say it. Now it's like y'all, like always, y'all. Listen, most of you racist motherfuckers, you getting mad when a minority minority takes the fucking power away from y'all. Oh, what are my grandkids and my kids going to do? I can't say nigger no more. That word gave me power. So what? They say it in their music. It's like, all right, you can't say it no more. Sorry. You can't say the word no more. We we took it away oh. from you. It don't belong in your vocabulary no more. It's, it's derogatory to us. And we don't even say we don't even say the hard er word to each other because that oh, can spark a it can spark a fight between two black dudes if you call a motherfucker a nigga like straight up. It doesn't it, matter. It, 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 it does. If I said nigger, nigga, <laughs> your grandma fuck you and your black nigger ass grandma. Nigga go like, I'm gonna be offended at that, yo. Wait, yeah. what? Yo, you gonna want to fight? You like, yo, I know this motherfucker ain't just calling me a nigger. Like we passed that shit. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. I'm going to run that back. For me, I might not get as offended to him calling my my grandma a nigger as as opposed to the fucking the old grandma of yours. That might make me a little bit more angry. No, grandma, like, nigger, yeah, you're like no black yo, nigger grandma. Fuck your old nigger grandma. Like, what? Yeah, we going we going we going to make the N word go crazy. So, um let's let's care. be clear. At one point, we did try to get rid of the N word on this podcast. It didn't did. work out so well because I say it. I say it in front of my mom. I even corrected myself tried when to I get was rid of there. it, and then and then the very episode that we were supposed to limit, <laughs> he started saying it. It's <laughs> yo, it didn't work out well, but uh, but you y'all know, my niggas. this is what we yeah, this is what we do, and this is I mean, you're not going to stop me. I have no problem telling. I have no problem, yo, white dudes. If you want to say nigga, 
We're not saying we can control what you say. I can't, I'm not, I can't control what you say. I'm not going to actually grab your phone, motherfuckers. You, you don't know what tongue in cheek actually means. I'm not going to grab your phone. I could, could fucking care less about you. Couldn't care less about you. That's the correct saying. I couldn't care less about what a racist motherfucker think, do, or say. The one thing this taught me is them Trump motherfuckers, them racist motherfuckers, they a little bit more organized and close than we are. Them niggas are united. <laughs> These motherfuckers are united, yo. <laughs> yeah. motherfuckers go in racist harmony. You can't stop these motherfuckers. They don't stop coming. They don't stop coming. Uh, yo, the black, the black movement should be, should be ashamed of themselves how these motherfuckers <laughs> united against us just for saying that, yo, jokingly saying like, oh, yeah, if I go in your phone and I see nigger, then I'm going to beat the shit out you or some shit like that. These motherfuckers went crazy. Oh, they went ape shit. And, and like you said, Dre, I ain't hey man, if you want to say nigga and nigger, be my guest. What got but me? just say just say it anywhere. Just me? go, just say it anywhere. That's how I feel. Go and say it anywhere. Not in the sundown. I can't, no, no, no. I can't I, I can't stop you. I I can't stop you from saying it. Just like I can't stop the motherfucking next from next to me from hooking off on your ass yeah. if he gets offended by that shit. That's it all. goes, it goes both way. I can't stop you for saying it. I can't stop how I'm going to react to your face. You get what I'm saying? It's, it it it's goes both ways. Because they will fight for their right to be able to say to be racist. Yeah, for, to be racist. Got me really. is they said yeah, they were people were right. saying they were like, well, I bet you if we go through your phones, we'll find it. <laughs> I'm sure you yes. will. Could yes. Could you imagine? You see this guy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nigga in his phone. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. And you ain't gonna do shit about it. <laughs> that's the difference. That's that's what you're not understanding. If I go through your phone, I might just punch you in your face, but you ain't gonna do shit to me unless your buddies is around. You never know. You might unless you find one of them cra crazy Trump supporting kung fu niggas. <laughs> <laughs> then, you, then you might be able to find. Oh yeah, you, yo, you come across <laughs> MMA. Kung Fu, but listen, if that dude come from uh, MMA class and he got the American flag on his uh, on his lifted truck, nah, I'm gonna leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that alone. Might, he might win. Uh, you he, he, he might win. He, he, I seen a couple of them. I, I you know, what I mean, I trade at MMA gyms, and you see them. They be all jacked up on on fucking creatine and Mountain shit, Duke. and, and uh, yeah, Mountain Dew too, but all creatine the fuck up, <laughs> and let it be a TV somewhere and. I remember I was watching TV at the gym and this big muscle dude came you were in. Doing and I the think, wrong thing. And listen, and the fucking they flashed Trump getting arrested first. And then they flashed like some like the rioters, the kids stealing out. This motherfucker went ape shit. If Trump was in the office, these fucking kids wouldn't be doing this, dude. You know, I ain't got nothing against some black people or nothing like that, but they were the ones you, you just seeing, man. Like, why why what's up with their that community, man? Like, I like that. I'm like, nigga, why are you talking to me about this? This is something you should have a conversation. Like, this is not, this conversation is not going to go well. One, I feel some type of way about Trump. And two, yeah, I do feel some type of way about it always. These little black kids looting. But I don't think yeah, me and you should be, me and you should be having this conversation. This is a conversation. I think it should be held maybe amongst white people or in a different setting <laughs> or, or a different tone. But you just all creatine and jacked up on fucking steroids and been lifted now you fucking coming at me with this hard aggression and, and then you preference the conversation i ain't got nothing against black people you do yo you yo you're sensitive okay yeah. you're, you're too sensitive you know that uh -uh. you're just too you know when you get triggered you know by just a word when you're just triggered by a word yo you yo, you feminine yeah, you know that? that nigga. That's you, what the niggas were saying. This is what they're saying to us. Yo, you get triggered by a word. You got a low IQ. Low IQ. Hey, 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 what? <laughs> hey, here's me? the thing. Here's the thing about trick. We triggered by a word. And y'all can say, oh, y'all triggered by saying the N word. Go to your job or go or just go on Instagram. Don't do it. And type in something against the gay community. <laughs> Mm -hmm. a, race, a, a slur they will pull your fucking page oh they're gonna find you they will pull your page mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Instagram going to pull your page. We're not. We don't got to do nothing. Nobody even got to. We don't even have to put in a complaint about you. Instagram is going to red flag that shit straight up the flagpole. Pull your fucking page. Before they pull your page, these motherfuckers going to find out where you work at. Your boss is going to fire you. And he been saying nigga with you all the time. <laughs> hey, yo, but he was like, hey, you, we drew the line. You couldn't say the F word, dog. Like, uh, I got a business here to run. You can't say the F word. Don't care about that N word. But don't you say that F word about them people over there. It's like, it's like, yo. 100% true, bro. Please elaborate. Because that is just, absolutely true. Just, it's yeah. like, yo. Regardless, like. Just like they are a group of people that's like been victimized, so is black people. But it just seems like America wants to, because America is scared, because that community actually sticks together and they will fucking band together to fuck your business up. It's never about a word. All this shit bowed down to, let's be real, it's all economics. Like they'll fuck your whole, they'll fuck your economic. If Pepsi was to endorse somebody who was a, a, a gay basher, oh. Pepsi wouldn't exist no more, and Pepsi be apologizing. But Pepsi then probably endorsed many races that said the N word, nigger, hated black people, had the most racist dude drinking Pepsi and endorsing that shit and putting it on their jacket. They don't care. They're like, you, you're saying in your music, like, yo, it's mm-hmm. nigga, y'all white, y'all mass murder people on y'all movies, white people. Do I think every white person's a mass murderer? Kind of. No, 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 no. Never. No. Never. Never. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Let's, let's we real. don't know. Every movie got a white is a white dude murdering mad fucking people. Do I always look at I the white know. dude like uh, but I'm just saying, but they oh, but that's how they bring it back to us. They like, yo, y'all say it in y'all music, y'all, y'all lyrics. I, I don't care. It's people, it's black people out here who do not use the N-word who finds it offensive anyway. Yeah, y'all think we yeah, y'all also think we we're just a monolith. Cause uh, yeah. You think we're a monolith. You think that every one of us do and say the same shit. That's the actual. All right, yo, read that. You want to read it? I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. I ain't read it. <laughs> if you want to get oh, rid shit. of it, if you want to get rid this is from Cliff. This is not from us. Yeah, this is Cliff. Cliff. Cliff says, I'm reading this comment. You a snitch. You a snitch. <laughs> Look at his name up there. <laughs> if you want to get rid of the n-word start calling gays niggers and see what happens we can't even say that because if you say stuff like that they'll take it seriously and still and then say you gay bash yo you you yo you against the gays like that's how clip that's how these people respond when you try to get a when you try to like you get a joke off or you get a, even a good point off it, it all of a sudden, if you hit the wrong algorithm, it changes into, no, you're the one with the problem. We we should all be able to, you know what I'm saying? Because I, listen, I know, I hate that we got to do this. I know gay people. We know gay people, right? I've heard them refer to other gay men with the F word. Yeah. Did you think, do you think as a straight man, I said, dare you you're not supposed to be using that word gaming i didn't do that at all you know why because all right bro like i'm not gonna say it because if i say it it could be you know interpreted disrespectfully and i respect people i don't give a fuck what you are white chinese whatever i respect people even if i said the wrong thing like the old word for a uh for an asian person you what was like used to be acceptable. I know you're not going to understand which word I'm saying, and I'm not going to say it. It's not a crazy offensive word that hits your ear wrong, but at one point they determine like, nah, that's disrespectful. So, cause my pop used oh. to say, it. yeah, yeah. So, Oh, it's, it, it's, a, it, they call the rugs that as well. There's O word rugs. Oh yeah. I get you. Yeah. So I say that to say, if Oreos. somebody says, so it, all right. If somebody I said says, Oreos, nigga. I shit, heard shit. you. Don't repeat stuff. If somebody says, yo, I don't <laughs> like that. If somebody says, yo, I don't like that. It's not my fault to then defend my reason of using it. It's me to say, oh, my bad, man. I ain't, I ain't know that was going to offend you, bro. I didn't mean it like that. Let me go ahead and, you know, do say something else. What would you rather me say? That's how I feel. But if he said that to his friend, it's not it's also not up to me to go to him and say, yo, you're not supposed to be saying that. If you if you could say it, that means I could say it. No, he that's has how... every right to beat. 
he has every right to whoop my ass. That's how the white boys felt on that motherfucking page. You, you said it, so I can say it. it's like, no, bro, you you can't say it. It's a, it's many it's many reasons that we didn't described already. You, you can get hurt. You can lose your job. It's it's a lot of reasons you can't say the word. Just leave it alone. If it belongs to somebody, it belongs to them. It belongs to their group. If they say it amongst to each other, that's them saying to each other. Cool. I think Dave Chappelle had the best line when uh um I think he made it. He made it. No, no. Listen, he made it. I know a, where you're going. Yeah. He made he made the gay joke, and he and they said he said he said Dave, uh, you can't make jo gay jokes. Gave Dave was like, why? He said because you're not gay, and he was like, but I can say nigga all the time on TV. And he's like, it's okay, Dave, you're black. He said, but I'm not a nigger, so why why can I say the word nigger? I don't look at myself as a nigger. Mm -hmm. But that's the th that's the thing. Like, yep. It's it just like, listen, man, I these motherfuckers just, just defended why they can say nigger. It, it was just crazy, man. Like they really went ape shit crazy. They wanted to say the word nigger. Like you you're saying it. You're saying it in your text. You 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 you're fucking you're making a mute point. Uh, like you're trying to defend something that is like, yo, it, it's out of the pocket. It's out of pocket for y'all. Then they like, we're keeping racism alive by using the word. Yeah. How the fuck are we keeping racism alive? Y'all the mother, <laughs> like, yo, racist yo. motherfuckers is the ones who still got statues of Robert E. Lee up and name the schools after this racist motherfucker. Like, yo, we're keeping racism alive. Y'all got Confederate flags on missing. Was on Mississippi uh, state flag had a part of Confederate flag on it. How are we keeping that shit alive? Oh, that's a part of our heritage. The the, the, the stars and stripes. Y'all lost the war. That is a racist flag, dog. That rag flag stood for racist shit. Y'all keep racism alive every single day with shit like that. How how do we get past this? There is no answer to this, by the way. I just want to see what kind of crazy shit y'all gonna come up with. I keep saying, I I keep saying, like me, my the way I live my life, I treat everybody how I would prefer to be treated. Doesn't matter what color you are. I'm not one of them idiots to say I don't see color. No, you're not an idiot if you say that, but I don't agree with that. I do see color. I just don't give a fuck. Like it's not, it's not my business to tell you how to live, where to live, what to live. I just treat you how I would prefer to be treated. If you want to treat me differently that's on you i really don't gotta like it ain't my it ain't my job to police you or nothing like that i'm just telling you i'm treating people how i want to be treated period that's it because that's what that god dumb. says i hate that dumbass thing they treat me I, I, used to, I used to try to be nice to everybody but that niceness shit just don't win it don't get you nowhere but in a position where you're regretful you're either more hurt you know what i'm saying and now you have hatred uh if you cool with me, I'm cool with you. If you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. It's just simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have to have conversations to you about you or none of that. I can easily erase you from my memory. And well, that's if I more see you, meant, I got you. If, if I see you, then I just see you. I keep it moving. You a stranger, even if I know you. You know what I mean? And it doesn't matter if you white, black. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your race. If you treat me good or treat me cool, I'm gonna treat you cool, and we and and it, there's always boundaries to whomever you're dealing with, regardless of the race. You know what I'm saying? You you gonna you gonna say that you feel comfortable to that person? You yeah, know what I mean? Funny. No, I don't think it's funny. He thinks what you're saying is funny. What you gonna no. say to him? No, I'm not Turn against your brother? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm listening to what he's saying, but I was I was ready to say this is how you get past it, man. Like this guy right here. Listen, this Instagram comment. I think his name is Holland. H O L L I N D underscore V. What's the picture? It's He's holding guy. a fish, ain't he? White guy with turtleneck on. Black turtleneck. <laughs> Whoa. Poor guy. Diabetes is going to get you before the scary words. <laughs> yeah, you hear him? You hear him? Yeah. yeah he, you hear him? he don't know, though. I'm the fat one. <laughs> I'm the fat one. Stupidy. Jeff, Jeff Rolf, G E F F O, I mean R O L F 75. This Instagram user, you ain't whooping nothing but wine and ice cream in bed. <laughs> 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 funny, funny shit. This is what I like. Ice cream. Yeah, that's what I'm, delicious. 
Thesis, another white dude. T H E S U S 384. Y'all are a beast with white people, bro. It's weird. Rent free, too. Y'all, no, my bad. Y'all obsessed, my bad, with white people, bro. It's weird. Rent free, too. Yo, I said <laughs> one. Yo, we said one thing about that. Yo, we said one thing. <laughs> We're obsessed, though. You're obsessed. It's just crazy. So, oh, here, here go a good one. Yeah. Uh, the part is C. T H E P P A R T E D S E A underscore. Liberal Negro problems. Y'all want to be accepted by liberal white so bad, but Evie, your zesty ass feminist spirit. <laughs> you they the opposite. I'm, so, I'm so zesty. <laughs> oh, that was a that was a going theme that I'm feminine because I said that. Yo, this, but I'm so, saying these shits, these shits is funny. Like I find these shits, funny. these are hilarious. But then you got some, like you got I some one that, wine and ice cream. That's a dangerous combination, my nigga. <laughs> this is here. Go. This is what the people we talk about. This is like this shit that irks us. Pike P I K E zero zero two O. Double standards. If you don't like the word, then stop using the fucking word. Like, yeah, because he can tell us to do that. By the way. Cause he's the smartest guy. Like, I, like, did, so, so I, oh shit! Go there you go. So I feel like this, right? I feel like white people like that have their preconceived notions already, and all they did was use our video as a as a as a place to get their shit off. So everything I've always thought about you people, because it is you people, I'm going to get it off by whatever you're saying. It just triggered me to get it off. Because to say you're obsessed, you don't know us, you never saw our podcast, you never saw our page before, this is your first time visiting, and we have one video about this, and we're obsessed. Where are you getting this from? You're getting this from whatever you see on your feed, which is curated by Instagram or Facebook or whatever you fucking shit you're on. It's curated by the shit you already search. So when you're hateful ass, is searching all this shit or you got all this Trump shit, which I don't believe Trump. I believe he gave room for the racists to do their shit, but I, I only use that to describe the different types of people. So all the shit that you search basically puts into your, see, we, we come from the old school where we actually live life. So I have real experiences I'm going off of, right? When I speak, I've been called a fucking a nigger ER by a group of fucking uh, white dudes riding by in a fucking truck while I'm waiting at the bus stop. You know what I'm saying? I've been chased down South Philly by a bunch of fucking white dudes. I don't know if they was Italian, but a bunch of fucking white dudes with crates and bats in their hands. Chase. That's when That's when the fucking, um, what do you call that shit? That's when the uh, whole thing about black people running fast? Yeah, it was true. Mm, yeah. I was gone, nigga. <laughs> you wasn't catching me. But these, act these things actually happen to me. I'm not responding from a video I saw, you fucking bitch-ass niggas. That's what I'm saying. You, you don't live life. You, you look at a phone and inform your opinions and then stay on your phone and keep them opinions to your motherfucking self as you're writing them. That ain't make no sense, but I don't care. When you next to a motherfucker, you've never done it. Just like them dudes had to be riding past in their car to say nigger. But if we was waiting at the bus stop, I guarantee you that wouldn't have happened. If we was waiting together, no, it wasn't. You get what I'm that. saying? If it wasn't 50 of them white dudes chasing us and it was one, I guarantee you he would have kept his ass walking. That's what that's what we talking about. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with fucking, I ain't got no problem with nobody. But like you're not gonna you're not gonna talk to me like I'm stupid and think I'm just not gonna fucking dissect everything you're saying. You know what I mean? Anyway, go ahead. You know how to get my shit off. Oh no, I understand. Like I said, this this whole Viral post is, is I know it got you. It got us all like eh. no, it don't. I mean, I don't <laughs> it's one hundred and two thousand uh, views now. Yeah, it's one hundred and two thousand views, and it's and it's all and it's just they all like they all all of motherfucking races are regurgitating the same shit. Yeah. Why use a word that we can't use the word? I'm you're looking so for simp. Yo, yeah, you're looking for sympathy. They they that got my word. <laughs> that 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 word that word doesn't it's really mean ass, anything. Hey, you're, you're giving it power. And then you had a couple of. Then I had like one goofy. I had one black dude. Oh, do you understand? It was a uh, Nigeria 
the word N I G E R meant Prince is a king. I'm like, yeah, cool. Yo, can I get some shit off again? Yeah. I'm ashamed of y'all, bro. I'm ashamed of the niggas that was on that page that chose to go, yeah, these guys are fucking assholes. I'm ashamed of y'all niggas, bro. That's why I said the Trump motherfuckers, the fucking racist motherfuckers, they unite better than us, dog. They, they, they unite always, better than us, man. They always right. We, we uh, they <laughs> we they, are they, terrible. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Yeah, yeah like they because they they just was saying that because it's my mentality on on social media. If everybody would have been laughing and saying, "Yeah, do that to people," phone. 98% of the comments would have been like, yeah, I'm going to do that next week. Do that next but week. the once the mob started going like, you fucking racist pieces of shit and calling us all kinds of racist this and racist that, motherfucking black people seeing that shit like, I ain't standing up for these. Uh, motherfuckers turned to Uncle Ruckus on that bitch real quick. <laughs> <Turn to> Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> all right, you got that. Uncle got, Ruckus. And then you, then you got the people who, who was like, Oh shit! And laugh. It's like yeah, that's the, the response. Nigga, I, ain't nobody grabbing nobody phone, bro. I, we don't care. I know I'm not one making thing, though. Can't beat me. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we, not, we 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 created a culture for ourselves to make certain thing accept certain things acceptable for us. You know, showing love to each other, even if we change the word nigger into nigger. That was. a a form of endearment from one black person to another, as as I seen it anyway, mm -hmm. growing up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and we weren't culturally accepted. We had to create our own culture. And now the fact that the real fact of the matter is, is that other cultures want to dip into all our culture to make their culture a little bit out. I could say more established or a little better or whatever the case may be. They want to take a little bit and add to theirs, but you don't see us really want to do the same. You know what I mean? And that's where the difference comes with us. It's like, yo, why, why is it now that you want to be what we've created and what, what we are now that you think that you can just get a piece of the pie. You didn't fucking go through all the shit that our, our people had to go through. You know what I mean? And not have a history, have to try to figure out where we come from, or who we are in this melting pot. And now you want to take a piece of that, too. We've already had a lot of shit taken from us. It gets to a point where a motherfucker, it comes to just words like, you know, you can't take you can't just be dipping and taking everything from us and having a piece of everything. Shit that we created for ourselves. You know what I mean? It's it's just it's just a form of another form of oppression. Nobody really, really. I mean, maybe I'm the only one who see it that way. You know what I mean? And and to think that you would be welcomed in with endearment because you got friends that are black oh, yeah. and they say, yeah, my black friends. You know what I'm nigger. saying? I say I, I say nigga to white people all the time. I don't expect them to say it back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they don't. You know what I mean? Not to me anyway. You ever said that you know to your girl? Saying? Real shit. I say it out loud to every any white person, including my wife. I don't call her yo nigga, but I'll be I'll have a conversation like, man, this nigga's crazy. Da, 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 and I'll go off on a tangent. And she ain't you gonna say, I mean? what did that I, nigga do? No, I'll give you a perfect <laughs> example. So uh <laughs> so <laughs> yo, if that ever happened, yo. <laughs> that know might, you might shit. yo, you might laugh. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, you might say, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. That would change my whole view. I look at her like, "Nigga, is you crazy?" Hey, you will laugh. You will laugh because I know I laugh. I laugh. If I'm there, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna fall the fuck out of my chair. But it's like <laughs> it'd be funny. But go ahead, man. I know. I know. For example, with my wife, if we listening oh to God. a Biggie, like just the Biggie song, and she'll be like, "If you don't know, now you know," and then she'll look at me to be like. Nigga, <laughs> that shit is fucking hilarious. She'll be like, and if you don't know, now you know. Say your part. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no, she don't say that. <laughs> she, but she know she got it. There's a certain part she got to stop. And she's going to wait for me to say it or the song is over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me ask you, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing like that. And I don't even want to ask you. I'll just ask you a blanket question. Not about your girl. What if, and I, I know my answer, what if you, you do have that close white friend or relative 
which we do. That's why, anyway. And they kind of slip up and say it. Let's say they say in a rap uh, song because all the rap uh, songs do have it in there, and they like, bro, and then they look at you I'm like, oh, I'm I sorry, seen, man, I'm just rapping the song. I'm I not seen white, flip out. No, I seen white no. boys in certain hoods, like deep no. in the hood. This white boy grew up with these motherfuckers, yeah. like, yo, this nigga fucking bugging, like. He and you be looking, and they looking at him, but they give him a pass like he been raised with us, like yo, like yo, he the, he one of us. Like no, that's, my, was, that's my nigga Rosendo. My, my yeah, nigga Rosendo yeah, can yeah. say that. <laughs> yeah, but the but you ain't gonna. Oh, man, go ahead. It's hard. It's hard because you really gotta. You really have to know. You have to know that person and what they've gone through. Like if they, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't approve of it. And I won't, I'll be like, yo, don't say nigga to me, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to say nigga in your own space when nobody's around, can't nobody stop you. Feel good. You know what I mean? If it makes you feel good. But understand that, you know what I'm saying? You you haven't gone through what I've gone through. But if they've actually gone through what they what you've gone through, say that you've been living in Section 8. They've been right by your side living in Section 8. Y'all been having food stamps together. Both y'all in a situation where I hate to put this thing right out there, but you don't have a father in your life. Or you don't have a mother in your life. One or the other. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both in the same exact struggle. And as you were growing up, this black man looked at you as, yo, this is my nigga. And you turn and look at him and be like, yo, this is my nigga. If y'all have that relationship, then y'all have that relationship. If I don't know you, you can't have that relationship with me. We not, we not on that type of struggle together where it is acceptable to me because I'm not looking at you. When I look at a person saying nigga, I'm not looking at it as you being black or you being white. I'm looking at it as you know this, you know this struggle and you've been raised by this culture. You know what I'm saying? You could be half white and half black, nigga. You 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 very well are a nigga, especially if you are dominated by the by the black culture your whole life. Mixed, you know what I'm saying? You could be light skinned like me. I mean, I'm half Puerto Rican, half black. But everyone knows me. They know my father. He's black. He's like he's he's like he looks like Steve Harvey. What's up, pop? Uh, <laughs> my grandfather is black. His his mother was half white. My grandmother is a Southern Belle black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my 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 great grandmother was was mixed. I don't know if she was fully white or half white. <clears throat> Sweetest woman in the world. <clears throat> um, so we we all have something in us that that. We're in a melting pot. Cool. Nobody is a hundred percent. It's the culture that dominates that word to me. Yeah, that's it's, it's what was brought up to to for us because we had to make something for us and adapt and adopt. You know what I mean? And if you haven't been part of that struggle, how could you know what it means to to use the word? In all reality, unless it's unless it's malevolent, unless you're saying it to heart hurt someone's feelings or in a negative way, you know what I mean? You, If you don't know that struggle, if you're not adopted by that culture, it it ain't for you. And that's just my point of view about it. That's a clip uh, set. Yeah. That's why, that's why I like certain pop, like you you being a hood, like like he's saying, around culture. You Like certain poppies, like Puerto Ricans, they being a hood, they be saying nigga, they be using nigga crazy. I don't even see nothing. I don't even see that shit is regular. I grew but up around if, Spanish people and black people, Puerto Ricans. But if you've seen, but I know one thing, and I love them too, because they some hard working motherfuckers. But if a Mexican called me a nigga, I'm gonna take offense to that shit. Cause I'm like, yo, he means a derogatory. <laughs> you made a derogatory. You don't even fuck with us like that. Like the at least the Puerto Ricans, they mix with us. Like y'all don't even mix with us. Y'all don't even fuck with us. Puerto Ricans come from black. You just can't marry women. Ooh, man. oh, you can't touch yeah, Puerto you Rican. Can't. You, can't, you can't marry a Puerto Rican. Like oh, you, you can. can. You can, but it it, got, just, it, it yeah nah. You got kids, bomb. There's a lot of a lot of. Uh, I need I need I need I need to know why you can't marry a Puerto Rican woman. Explain. I don't you. know. You can marry a Puerto Rican woman, dog. You can, you can mess with one. Nah, they they grandma that. trip. They grandma. They, they grandma yeah, they trip. They, they family don't be fucking with the. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Am I wrong? Grand, now the grandpa and the grandma trip. Nah, the mom and dad be cool, know. but it be the ones that can't speak no right. English. And no, 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 I'm dead ass. It be the ones that can't speak no, barely speak any English that be looking like that. That, that you hear him say Negro. You like, bitch, you talking about know. me? I, you know, I not no. Know the word Negro, really Negro, 
Negro that means black. Ne- Negro means, means black. black yeah, yeah. But they be like, yo, why is she messing with it? You hear the Negro, you be like, all right, she said something about me being black or messing with black. Something black came out. She probably said, "Why am I messing with this black boy? I don't understand the language." <laughs> you got, you got grab her neck, bro, and he automatically. You got grab nah, I heard hand. it said before. I heard, I heard it said before. Oh, like, yeah. right. <laughs> that's man. why. If you had a made of your made of your famous ribs, if, she, if you had a made of your famous ribs, she probably would have turned that frown upside down. You know what I'm uh, saying? She'd be like, "Oh," and then the Negro would have been positive. Oh, yeah, bring that Negro oh, oh, oh. and tell him bring his ribs. <laughs> nah, like I said, I've been, but I've been around. It. I was, you can marry, like, but I've been around that. Like they, they, they cool. You know what I mean? They, for the most part, they cool because they see who they see us like the same in the same light. But it'd be something that's like, like old school, old school, old, old uh, hardcore Puerto Ricans would be like, yo, no, like in Philly, like in North Philly. That's what like, I'm talking about. My my dad grew up in North Philly. Like they didn't mix at all. You couldn't talk. To the Puerto Rican girl up the street, just like the Puerto Rican dude couldn't talk to the black girl down the street. It was like a, it oh, was no, a no, no no. But it was like y'all grew up in the same hood. But I think when they said nigga to that offense, it still wasn't taken as a the hard er racist shit. Is like it, nigga. It's a, it's not something that we support. Nah, you know what I'm saying. As far as like people not. Like I'm one of them people, man. You love who you love. I don't give a fuck who you love, bro. Like love who you love. I don't give a fuck if they was Ethiopian. I don't give a fuck, man. Like that shit don't matter to me. But I do know that there are certain cultures that you can't. They don't. They look at the black guy coming. If you if that girl bring a black dude home, it's like, yes. yo, let me talk to you. It's it's really that conversation that happened. We the only motherfuckers that you can bring whoever you want home, and it's well, all good. Not. Can't bring a white girl. That's a lie. Now, maybe nowadays. Now, but, now the no, white girl you used to bring the white girl. When you were well, your you grandma back in the day, you couldn't bring no white girl home. What's back grandma. in the day? Shit, maybe fifteen years ago. Uh, I don't think that's twenty, 20 think that's years correct. ago. Grandma, Yo, your grandma ain't look at you like what you doing with that white girl. Man, you ain't never that's heard that. Shit. That's not hate. That's more like what the. Fu- that's not hate. That's more like. Yo, you think call, it's call. hate? You think it's you think but, you think it's hate if if a Puerto Rican girl brought a black dude home and the Puerto Rican mother or father didn't approve? You think that they hated the culture? I don't think they hated the culture. It? I just don't think they want that mix. Like, don't bring mm-hmm. that mix. Like, I, that, think, I think that's the same. Man. If you were bring, if when it when you brought same. a white girl it home, they same. look at you like. They they might not necessarily don't, hate don't. the white girl. They just my mom. My work. mom used to always say like my mom accepted. She used to get mad. She was which this is where she got mad at the point. Cause my brother got mixed kids. She was like, I don't care if you date a white girl, but they her white family may not accept your black kids. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Your mixed kids. And I don't want to go too in depth with the shit because if he here, he speak on it, but. You know what I'm saying? That's what my mom's like, like look at it like with the white with the white girls, like, yo, they're not gonna accept you being black or your kids being half black. Like it's gonna be some of them that are hardcore old school races that you know was born in the 1930s and shit like that and came up using the word nigger freely and treating black people a certain way and looked at them as a second class citizen. So they're not mm-hmm. gonna accept you or your kids. Mm-hmm. So your moms and your grandma be like, yo, don't. Why are you messing with that white girl for? Because they're not going to accept your kids, and and you know their family going to be hateful towards you. And and I ex- I experienced because my grandma my grandmother was was she died she was like se- she was seventy two, so she went through segregation and all that shit. So she went through the you know her, her brother you know about to get beat up because he looked at a white girl. Now she went through that shit. So when she seen us mess with a white girl, she was like. I, like, yo, why are you bringing that white girl home? Like, it was like almost out of fear and like, and like, yo, we don't mix with them. We, they don't want us to mix. We don't mix with them. I tell you this. I it, said I know it, what I'm talking about. My grandmother, um, she, my man, grandmother, she loves everybody. Maybe it was the fact that I was taller and I'm sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, she, she grew up having to go through Y'all frozen. I think they're using Boost Mobile, y'all. We're going to have them back in a second. Give me a second. They frozen. 
I'm going to have to cut all this shit out. What is this? Minute uh 49? All right, minute 49. Let me text myself that. Y'all going to have to come back in. Y'all going to have to come back in. Damn. These guys with these that with this dag on Boost Mobile. Anyway, so you got me. And I'm going to keep talking about it, but I just got to let them know what's going on. But yeah, man, it's it's no it's no hate, no nothing. It's it's literally just experiences that we've went through and we've the funny thing is we've just been um we just been on the other end of the stick. There we go. They know. We've been on the other end of the stick so many times that when you see somebody that's coming from a place of privilege try to tell you how to act and react, it's like you have no idea, but they'll try to compare their struggle with yours. Oh, we grew up without any money neither. The fuck that got to do with me being, you know, like with 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 us having to deal with racism. We're not victims. I'm I'm functioning in this world and I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm functioning. I'm good. But I can't act like that. That doesn't exist. That's all I'm saying. You know, and and that whole thing with um, if you haven't gone to our Instagram page, if you want to get really mad, go and check our latest post and you'll see what we're talking about. Go in them comments. All it's going to do is piss you off and you're going to want to argue with everybody there. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of people and they get they racist shit off like. Man, the one thing that they uh, that that Kevin and Kevin didn't explain when I wanted to turn the comments off, I wanted to turn the comments off because it, it started to like once you get to like the thousandth comment and it's all racist shit. At that point, it's like, yo, this ain't this ain't really helping us. <laughs> this ain't really helping our podcast get out there. This is just racist motherfuckers being racist and you know, giving us that hate. And I didn't want that. I'm like, ah, you know, it's not really working for the podcast itself. This is just some shit for the races to get their shit off. So yeah, if you want to get mad, go check our latest Instagram post. Um, so I think that's where we're going to end everything at. They can't get back online. So do me a favor. If you want to get mad, or even if you want to get your shit off arguing against all the racist shit. Go to our Instagram page. Oh, yeah. Listen to the fucking podcast, too. Can y'all please um, go to that page? The Opinionated Podcast, uh, podcast spelled with a K in the middle. Um, check us out. Look at that post. Yo, go crazy on them, yo. We, we, we need some help. We need some help because it's bad. Uh, but, yeah, we'll check y'all next time. <laughs>